This is the talk show that takes a no-holds-barred approach to politics, where truth and integrity are the standard and the Constitution honored. From Renaissance Studios, this is Champion News Talk Radio. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. I'm Carol Parisi, and today our founder, Jack Roser, and myself are speaking with uh, the promotional director for Awaken America, the Great Awakening Group, Kim Hilgeman. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Good morning, Jack. And uh, full disclosure, um, I have an interest in Awaken America, the Great Awakening Group, so this is going to be a different type of show today. And thank you, Jack, for allowing us to be here, and it's going to be interesting. Well, uh, as you know, uh, I'm very impressed uh, with the efforts that you made uh, in the uh, Joe Walsh campaign for Congress. Uh, you and uh, a number of other real leaders are what put him over uh, without any help from state or federal and uh, uh, very little money. He was outspent five to one, right. and he won a seat against a three-term incumbent with a lot of money. Right. And uh, I've heard you talk about uh, Kim's organization, and uh, I, uh, from where I'm at, I'm trying to bring together uh, people, organizations like that, uh, to combine in political action to take back the state of Illinois from the people that have uh, turned it into the laughing stock mm -hmm. of the country as, a, as the most corrupt and also the most further, further in debt mm -hmm. because of the pensions of the Education Association. Right. So we have a big job ahead of us. Yes, and, we do. And uh, your leadership uh, is one reason you're here in this uh, chance to put out your ideas and uh, your acquaintance with people like him. It's very yes. important. Yes, well, um, you know, there's a lot of work to be done oh, moving yeah. forward. Huge. And I, I just want to speak from being a grassroots leader because we, our organization, as Kim could attest to, has been extremely grassroots. We were running campaigns out of trunks of cars. Folks were collating literature in their homes, carrying boxes back and forth. It was truly grassroots. We were funded by no one. We were funded by the passion for the mission. And um, we worked together as a team. Joe Walsh did iterate that very well. Oh, absolutely. Didn't he? Joe had the passion and the and the emotion to ignite the passion in, in us, but it took leadership, like some of the leaders of the groups. But you know, there's a team, and, and we all worked mm -hmm. right, Kim, as we a did. team, and and it really together, a team for an acronym. Together, each action maximized, and <laughs> really, we just had such amazing synergy yeah. it was fun too it, it was, was fun it was we fun. made it fun yeah. it was hard we went work door to door we, we you're using to words people. like synergy here you must have gone to a private school uh absolutely <laughs> <No>. not <laughs> i probably couldn't spell it because i went to a public school but um you know kim is our uh, promotional director and um, <clears throat> she's done so much for our organization and promoting it to wherever she goes, whenever she sees people. And we are really at our uh, next level right now with Awaken America. Mm -hmm. We have a board of directors and we are very focused and we actually know what the mission is. And it's not about a person, it's about principles and the mission of what we have to do. And we have a mission statement. One of the things we're doing on, uh, with our organizations and uh, with uh, championnews.net uh, and uh, this program, uh, what we're trying to do is uh, bring other groups, the, the many groups around the state yes. right. uh, that uh, are loosely called the Tea Party right. or perhaps conservatives or perhaps uh, Americans for Life or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and all efforts together. All together are, going, are really going to manage the mm -hmm. Republican Party and fill it with victories for the right people. Because exactly. divided we fall, and that's what the you know the opposition is trying to do is to divide and bring, you know, havoc among our own groups. But 
We're stronger than that. We're, we're smarter than that. Well, so the hang mission, together or we'll hang separately. Uh, right. We're right. Hang. I mean, that's true. <laughs> you know, it, it, and it, I really think a lot of the grassroots <clears throat> have, I bet you, 80 to 85% of the same ideology yeah and yeah. It, it, you know what that 10 20 whatever percent they don't agree on it's probably not that important anyway but I think a lot of times people get hurt their personality and their clash mm -hmm. and, and, and just because it's personal doesn't make it important so like Ronald Reagan said let's take that 80 percent that we mm -hmm. agree on and let's harness that energy and commit to the highest action and the mission and I really believe that folks will be able to achieve their highest potential with passion and purpose and commitment and diligence and perseverance I agree with you totally, uh, really do. Uh, we have a lot of new leaders, uh, people who, who had never expressed themselves as leaders in politics before and have uh, had considerable local uh, success. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing to do is to uh, channel all that energy in the same direction to win the big elections that are coming up. Absolutely. Uh, without trampling on the leadership and the individuality right. of real American enterprise, individuality, uh, that's in all these people. Well, so that's what we're trying to do uh, here is to uh, help these people without dominating them. And uh, we want to all be working pretty much in the same direction, much as we can. Okay. We're going to win back the, the House and the Senate and mm -hmm. the state of Illinois. Democrats, we're coming after you. You <laughs> made this mess up. We're going to clean it up. Well, clearly, that's we're not the, making it easy for you. No, that's for sure. Well, you know, and you're, you're talking about leadership and... You know, there are certain specific principles of leadership, and I think that the grassroots, like you said, a lot of folks have stepped up and never have led things before, yeah. and the individuality, and I think within that, there could, sometimes there's, there, that's where some of the, the dissent. I think it's very American. <laughs> <laughs> this is all about early America and the principles oh, absolutely. and uh, the rights and power of individuals, isn't it? Yes. I yes. mean, that's a simple statement, and there's a lot of parts of that that uh, are important to see how they work here and there. Uh, I've said enough about it, though. Uh, we're all uh, really uh, somewhat uh, reverting to prototype of uh, what our founders had in mind for this country of uh, free and responsible people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, you sure, certainly, and all of the things you've been involved in politics, uh, you're a great example of that. Well, I hope to be an And you tell me Kim is, too. Oh, Kim well, is um, outstanding. But I want to say, I don't expect Carol to toot her own horn. I see a leader in her that I see in no other that I'm, you know, seeing around me. And Her husband agrees. And then, <laughs> well, she's strong, but she <laughs> loves people. Carol is... She show, she wears her heart on her sleeve. She you know she is just a leader that will wants to teach other leaders. She wants to teach others to be a leader. Mm -hmm. She's not in competition with you. She wants to encourage and teach. And she is just she's not going to tell you that herself. You know, you, there's. I'd like to add just a little bit to your thought there about teach people to be a leader. Uh, I think the leadership thing uh, is kind of innate and gets ignited by their principles and so mm -hmm. forth. Uh, you don't really need to teach all these people to be a leader. What you want to do is put tools in their hands so they can be effective. That's true. Yeah. Tools yeah. are true. important. Join them up with others and uh, and uh, let's win this sucker. Right. Well, I, I think just from a lot of the leadership trainings that I have taken and participated, I'm a certified life coach as well as a personal trainer. So there's a certain amount of leadership training that I've had to take. And I think when you coach people, it's to be an inspiration and then do it by example. Right. I think a lot of all of us, you have to live it and be it. And if it comes from the intrinsic and then you actually walk the talk, that shows people and that inspires people. Kim, what do you think about all that? Well, like I said, I, I feel that Carol is someone that is showing us how to be effective in our communities. I mean, well, she I'm, says you were. You were telling her. Kim is an accountability partner for me. Yeah. Because of my sanguine personality and sometimes I can get 
<laughs> jumping down bunny holes and chasing shiny Basically, shiny sanguine things. means bloody. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not, not overly serious. I, I, I'm intense, but I'm not too serious. I don't take uh -huh. myself too seriously. But our organization is great. We have great leadership in our organization. Many of our, our board members have run <clears> businesses <throat> and have led many on many different venues, be it military or other campaigns. And... Um, we're, we're very blessed, and the synergy with, with our organization is amazing. We actually have a lot of uh, leaders as members of our organization. We work well, well together. A lot of this is about you today. We've invited oh, you here uh, humbled by this. to help get <laughs> out uh, the kind of mess message and energy that you've got. Well, you know what? We're going to be back after the break. We're going to speak into Awaken America and what's next and our next level. Mm -hmm.